To continue with the welcome remarks, we would like to present Dr. Jose Jaime Rivera, President of Universidad del Sagrado Corazón, who has kindly offered these outstanding facilities to hold this conference. Please welcome President Rivera. Muchas gracias and welcome to everyone. It's really been a very prestigious opportunity to welcome all of you into our campus. I want to share with you some information about our institution so that you get to know where we are. This is, again, a very old institution. We started in 1880 in Puerto Rico. We were the first uh, Puerto Rican educational institution established to educate women. And as you can see here, this was our first campus. This one on here. It now houses the Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico. And we're proud to have that building being used for such a distinguished function. After the military government uh, took over that property in 1898, uh, we bought a new campus, which is where we are now since 1907. This center picture shows the cornerstone of our building, our historic building, which you see next to it when it was being built. This is a national landmark, both in Puerto Rico and in the US uh, Register of Historic Buildings. Our history is long, as again, going to 1880. And from 1880 to 1970, we were a private Catholic selective institution dedicated to educating women. In 72, we became co-educational, and between 1970 and the 80s, there was a significant growth with a more flexible admissions policy, which brought here over 8,500 undergraduate students. In the 90s, the university decided to, again, we call, go back to our past and define a new admission policy, which brought the number of students to 4,600, keeping the same faculty that had served the 8,500 students. It was a very big challenge, but it was a very successful one. So in the 200s, 2000s, we decided to re-energize the academic project and develop multiple initiatives across the curriculum, such as service learning, teamwork, and many other modalities. And in this decade, we're dedicated to institutionalizing those projects. In terms of the projects that we have shared with you, the use of technology has been a major one. Our mission as a liberal arts institution is to educate in intellectual freedom and moral responsibility, men and women willing to participate in the development of a more authentically Christian society committed to justice and peace. This is a very traditional setting for a Catholic institution in a liberal arts world. So, and again, we share with them multiple characteristics. Our philosophy is based on three major propositions. We want to develop a participatory, personalized, and relevant educational experience. We want to become transformation agents for society, and we want to establish linkages with our social and cultural surroundings, including both regional and international ties, which is, again, why we're all here today. In terms of the vision, we believe, first of all, that the classroom is a world and it enters through resources and technology, and students should leave the classroom to engage in community work. We believe that learning requires doing research, constructing knowledge, and linking theory and practice, and thus we have developed a very strong undergraduate research program. The basic component of our bachelor program is multidisciplinary, humanistic, integral, liberal arts and sciences formation. And again, given the nature of job markets, where we believe a bachelor degree is a step to graduate school, we believe that we want to serve our community by becoming a graduate school prep institution. In a way, in terms of the engagement with the community, Sacred Heart has developed multiple initiatives for community engagement. We have been, throughout the last 20 years, creating multiple initiatives to integrate theory and practice community engagement with learning, 
And in a way, the student activism in the 21st century in a modality of engagement. We have multiple institutes and projects where we would love to share experiences and work with the faculty and the students of our member institutions in HETS. And we really look forward to creating those opportunities for engagement. We have been able to develop, again, initiatives that will result in a broad human development, value-centered, and particularly promoting citizenship and personal and professional developments. In that context, we welcome you all to Universidad del Sagrado Corazón. We're proud to have you here, and we really look forward to having a fantastic conference. We know that Jubelkis and her team have put together a very exciting round of workshops, projects, and have presented here multiple experts in the fields that we care for, which are access, assessment, and language development and interaction, because those two things lead to retention and graduation rates, which is what society needs from Hispanic-serving institutions. Thus, the function of HEADS is so fundamental for all of us and for our Hispanic community, both here in Puerto Rico and in the mainland, and all over Latin America, because in this globalized society, we need to work together. We have to work to develop a better world. And in that sense, again, our commitment as a university to share and work together with all of you. We hope that has given you a brief idea of where you are, especially for our guests from outside. And as again, our statement of very much interest in working together with all of you to strengthen our community, to strengthen our society, and to make a better life for our citizens all over the world. So welcome to Sagrado. Bienvenidos a Sagrado.